I went to a corn for a tour event and this is everything I learned from watching some of the world's best golfers. Let's get started. So first off, where the heck was this? I went to the Lacom, 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 L-E-C-O-M, Suncoast Classic at Lakewood National Golf Club in Sarasota. Super sick golf course, pretty wide open off the tee, some little difficult green complexes. This is a course I'd love to play. It was an awesome condition. When I was out there, I followed a couple different people. I had Rob Oppenheim, I followed Van Holgrim, and I also followed Ben Crane. Some great players, two of them have PJ Tour wins, Van Holgrim, newer to, this is his first year I believe on the Cornberry Tour, but also a great golfer, great guy to follow. If you don't know who he is, I would definitely check him out, PJ Tour app. So what did I learn at this event? The first thing I learned is that good golf is not always pretty. All these guys that I watched weren't having their best days, but they were definitely managing their way around the course really well. It's not always you're gonna be flushing it. I mean, it's pretty rare to see consistency in this game. You're not gonna always hit every green, every fairway, whatnot. But what these guys did really good is they're scrambling. I mean, some of the spots that I saw Robin were insane. Over the green, left of the green, on these crazy slopes, and he would just toss it down there to three, five, six feet, and just make the putt. And that's another thing he was really good at was putting. When you feel confident with the putter, it is makes the rest of the game way easier. Whether it's irons or your short game, it gives you a lot more confidence. You don't have to like play scared. You're not so worried about having to hit it to like this because you have confidence you can make the putt. And that frees you up a little bit to have a little better motion through the ball and you can actually get the ball closer. So again, one thing these guys did really well is they managed their game even when they're not flushing it. They can get up and down from some crazy spots and that's something that really separates the top players in the world and the average player. Is they, they, everyone hits bad shots, but they manage them way better. The second thing that I learned from all these pros is they're very deliberate with their process, which some of y'all might be thinking they just play really slow. Well, yes and no. When it comes to their process, they make sure they're confident with the yardage, the club, the wind, the line they're going for. They're really strict on being consistent with that. If you're not confident going in the shot, you're probably gonna hit a poor shot. It's just, they go together. If you're confident in it, you have a better chance of making a solid, well-struck, good shot. Now, yes, they take a little bit more time over these shots. To make up for it, they walk pretty fast. There's a lot of walking in professional golf, and they hoof it down these fairways. They know that they got to be under a certain time, and they want to do both where they can be deliberate on their shots so they can get the most out of them. They want to be confident. They're doing this for money but they want to make sure they're under that time so they don't get penalized. So they take their time over their shot, they hoof it down the fairways to make sure they stay under the allotted pace of play. Now with pace of play, in these tournaments, generally they play a little bit slower. Like right now, the US Open's going on. If you tracked their rounds, I guarantee you it will not be under four hours like we see on our regular rounds on our local course. Ideally, you do four hours or less. In these tournaments, it happens to be a little bit longer. So there is a little bit of an art to playing slow in these tournaments because you don't want to play really quick for a hole, speed through the hole, and then you get up to the next hole, and you got to wait 10 minutes. It just gets you out of rhythm. So there's a little bit of an art of playing slow, making sure we keep up with pace, we stay deliberate with what we're doing, but we're not going so slow that we're holding people up behind us. So they all have kind of mastered the art of playing slow just to make sure they can stay in the same routine, same rhythm. It's not get to a tee, wait a crazy amount, hit really quick, and then vice versa, do it all again. The last thing I learned 
from all these pros is there is no one size fits all. They all got different swings. They all got different body types. They're all different ages. I mean, this was a tournament that Miles Russell's played in. Miles Russell. I think I said it right. He was 15. Lefty, skinny guy. Didn't hit it crazy far. Fairly far for a 15-year-old, yes. But, I mean, my buddy Van, he's 6'7", I think. He's really tall. Hits it a long way because he's got long levers. So the, everyone's different. Rob, not a big guy. Doesn't hit it a mile, but he hits it straight. He gets it up and down and gets the ball in the hole. There's a whole bunch of you know different shapes and sizes playing this game. There's not one size fits all, especially with their swing. I mean, I saw a guy out there swinging cross-handed, left hand low. I saw all sorts of different swings. They're all very consistent with right around the ball, their impact position, but the rest of the swing, it's all different. So some that you can take from this is there's no, you don't have to have a swing that looks like Tigers, that looks like Adam Scott's, or looks like Minwoo Lee, all those swings that look super picturesque. You just swing your swing. What feels comfortable? Yes, there is positions in the golf swing that you would like to be at to be consistent. Like you can't be super inside, super over the top, yes, like, there's positions you can't be in, there's positions you can be in, but how you get to those positions, it's whatever is comfortable for you. You gotta swing your own swing because that's gonna give you the most confidence in your game so you can hit better shots. So recap on everything I learned. Good golf isn't always pretty. You're not always gonna flush it. You gotta work on your short game and your putts to make sure you can manage when you're playing poor and especially when you're hitting it well, you're gonna take advantage of it because you got that putter feeling good. Second thing, you gotta be deliberate with your process. Yes, if you're on your local muni, I don't want you to hold up everyone trying to get super detailed with everything. But make sure when you're getting up to the shot, you got a club you like, you got an understanding of the wind direction, you feel confident over the shot, and then you pull the trigger. None of this, I kinda like it, I kinda don't, whatever, I'll just hit it. No, make sure you have the club you like, you understand what you're gonna do and you confidently hit that shot. And the last thing, no one size fits all. You don't have to have this perfect picturesque golf swing. Make sure it's something you're comfortable with. Maybe your move's a little different, Maybe like Matt Wolf's move. He's a PGA Tour winner, great golfer, hits it a mile. That is super unorthodox, but that's what works for him. So make sure you got a swing that works for you and not just because it looks picturesque. So that's all I got from this tournament. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something from it, something you can take from this video, bring to the course, start playing some better golf, feel a little bit more confidence in it, and learn from the pros like I did. So thank you again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!